Welcome to Let's Talk Brock. Okay, welcome to this episode of the Let's Talk Brock podcast. Today we are joined by Brad Clausen, a graduate of Brock Statistic Co-op program as well as completed his Masters of Statistics at Brock. Uh, Brad currently works full-time as a data scientist at Expedia in London, England. During his time at Brock, he was awarded Brock Co-op Student of the Year in 2019. Thank you so much for joining us, Brad. Thanks for having me. So I'll hop right into the questions. We want to get to know you and all of your accomplishments at Brock. Uh, to start off, can you tell us about your experience completing um, the Bachelor of Science in Statistics at Brock and what did you enjoy most about that program? Yeah, for sure. So I did a bachelor's in math and statistics and then did a business minor uh, with a co-op distinction. So during my time there, I managed to complete three co-op placements, which was fantastic. Um, I have a lot of good things to say about that, but I'll leave that for later on. Um, that was probably the most enjoyable part, but outside of that, I really enjoyed the projects that we did in my math classes. So we were given real world problems and we used data and some math models to solve them. So it was really cool to work with, uh, some of the messy problems that we would see when we move into the industry, like I have now. Um, it was good to work collaboratively with a lot of the other students in the, in the course. Um, so I got to meet a lot of people and ended up, uh, becoming quite friendly with them and still, uh, have good relationships with them today. Um, and it's been quite helpful uh, going forward as I moved into my career. And then also working with uh, professors has been um, very beneficial. So I worked under uh, some quite brilliant professors and that was that was fantastic. Yeah, it's super cool. It seems like this program has opened some doors for you into your career, which we're going to talk about. Um, but you were also named Brock's Co-op Student of the Year in 2019. Congratulations. That was a few years ago now. Um, but can you tell us more about this award and how you got it? Uh, chosen for this award. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thanks a lot. Um, yeah, so a little bit more on the award. It's uh, recognition, I guess, for um, some of the work that you've done during your co-op placements, as well as academic achievements and community involvement. Um, and during two of my co-op placements, I received some nominations. So first was with the Ontario Ministry of Transportation. Um, so I received a nomination there. And then with Royal Bank of Canada, I received another uh, nomination there. So really thankful for my managers uh, for the guidance there throughout the internships. Um, and then in addition to that, uh, having guidance from the Brock co-op counselors were extremely helpful. Um, so specifically Jason Pang, who was my advisor, um, really helped me along with the, the applications and even just landing the co-op placements in the first place. Um, so having their guidance was very helpful for that. Um, and then after being recognized as the Brock Co-op Student of the Year, I was uh, then encouraged to apply for the Ontario Co-op Student of the Year, um, which I actually ended up receiving that as well. Um, so really thankful for the guidance uh, from the Brock department there. So they're really helpful with uh, walking through that application and providing suggestions. Wow, incredible. Congratulations. I didn't know that about you. So that even opened up bigger doors for you down the road. Um, so it's super cool to see that. And you touched on two of your co-ops so far. Um, but your next, my next question for you was, what co-op opportunities did you have? Can you touch a little bit more on those and your third? Um, and which was your favorite? Yeah, for sure. Um, so like you said, I did three co-op placements there. My first one was with the Ontario Ministry of Transportation, and it was located in St. Catharines. Um, so I was working in an in internal consulting role, uh, data scientist role there as well, where I was working with various departments just trying to use data and math to solve the problems that they were having. My second placement was a really unique partnership actually with the Canadian Olympic team. So I was employed by Canadian Tire Financial Services um, and Canadian Tire is one of the largest uh, sponsors of the Olympic team. So they opened up a department um, to basically provide uh, analytic support and create models to help predict whether or not their athletes would place on the podium and provide suggestions. So specifically at that placement, I worked with the speed skating and diving team. So I built databases and web scraping programs for them just to acquire data. And then I built some predictive models uh, for the bobsleigh skeleton and luge teams. So they put GPS units inside the sleds that would acquire data about 100 times per second. And then we would model it to uh, predict optimal routes down the track and provide suggestions um, like that. And then my third internship was with Royal Bank of Canada. And there I was working in the anti-money laundering and uh, terrorist financing insights and analytics department. So it was a really unique opportunity that I did not have uh, exposure to prior to the, the placement. So I had a lot to learn during that 
placement. Um, but it was, it was great. So I had two main projects there and, um, essentially, uh, just to give an overview, the one project was to create a risk model to evaluate how high risk, um, individuals were specifically politically exposed individuals as they are tend to be a little bit more subject to bribery or money laundering. So we wanted to, um, analyze them as a client, make sure we weren't taking on any risky individuals. Um, so I created some math models for that as well. Wow. Each one just sounded more amazing and more amazing. Um, that, those are so cool. Like as co-op opportunities, that hands-on experience during your degree, um, like as young as you were to get to experience that, that's awesome. Did you have a favorite? Is there one that like stuck out to you? Because each one just sounded like more amazing, more amazing. So was there one that you liked the best? Yeah, it's tough to say. I think they all had uh, definitely their, each of their benefits. Um, so the last one with Royal Bank of Canada was really, uh, really great to get some exposure to uh, upper management. So my project was, I guess, pretty impactful. So I got to present and work with um, some senior management on there. So that was a really good experience. Um, with the Canadian Olympic team, I just really like sports analytics. So I enjoyed that a lot. Um, so definitely say that was up there. And then the first one with Ontario Ministry of Transportation also was fantastic just because the team was so great. And it was just such a great first experience. I had a really supportive manager who helped me along through that placement. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for sharing that. So encouraging as incoming students get to hear about these cool opportunities that you had. So what is one piece of advice that you would give to an incoming student looking into these co-op opportunities and trying to figure out, you know, what they like, what they don't like? Yeah, for sure. So I would say the best piece of advice would be to get on LinkedIn and build a professional network. Um, I'm a huge advocate for LinkedIn because it got me to where I am today. Um, so I would get on LinkedIn, reach out to alumni. Um, so if you come across an alumni that's working in a position that you are interested in or even a company, I would reach out to them, try to have a coffee chat. Just say you want to learn more about the work that they're doing, learn more about the company and just be quite, quite interested in what they have to say. Take notes, ask a lot of questions and just listen quite closely and uh, see if you can use that going forward. Um, I did that actually quite a bit through my job search. And it led to a lot of referrals, which has been very beneficial. So I would just say utilize your professional network. And even if it doesn't help you now, it will likely help you um, farther down the road. Yes, yeah, to start building on that. OK, all incoming students listening, get LinkedIn, get connected. That's great. Thank you for that. Um, it's really cool how we can use technology to get connected. Um, and so you came back to Brock for your master's. Um, what made you come back? Yeah, so during the last year of my bachelor's degree, I ended up working with uh, Dr. William Marshall, who's a brilliant professor in statistics. Um, he focuses primarily on statistical machine learning applications to neuroscience, um, which is a little bit outside of my realm of research, but we shared a passion for sports analytics. Um, so I ended up working on my undergrad thesis under his guidance, and we really worked well together um, and had a great time. So he kind of encouraged me to uh, return for my master's and uh, thankfully, I was able to actually use this thesis for the Canada Summer Games. So they were coming uh, to Brock, or I guess they are coming now this summer uh, to Brock. And so I received a research grant to do some research for them on the sports analytics research that I was already doing. So that was a uh, pretty, pretty good enticing uh, piece there. And um, yeah, so I, I really enjoyed working under Dr. William Marshall and just wanted to continue uh, to, I guess, continue with my my undergraduate thesis to expand a little bit more and work under his mentorship. Yeah, that's really interesting how you had those relationships and connections um, that made you want to come back. Um, it's really cool for our incoming students to also hear about that um, because it really can navigate your career path and hearing about these experiences and maybe things that you didn't know you're interested in coming to Brock and, and learning about that. And so cool about um, the summer games coming to the university um, and our nice new building. So uh, cool that you had that connection. Um, what other experiences did you have um, in your degree that helped you get to where you are today? Is there anything um, that you haven't yet touched on? Yeah, so I would say there's two big things. The first thing would be the ability to think critically and analyze data. Um, so I really learned a lot about um, not just blindly trusting data. Um, so really getting a good understanding of it and understand why we are doing what we're doing, um, even at the business level, um, just trying to really get a good understanding of things. 
But I think for me specifically in the role that I'm in today, the most beneficial thing was the technical skills that I developed. So actually learning how to code um, was very beneficial. So spent quite a bit of time in the first year learning how to code and just use those skills throughout my uh, co-op placement. And it really helped me. Um, and then another thing actually that was quite beneficial was just as I progressed with my degree, I got a lot more interested in the topics. So I did a lot of like personal projects and um, working with professors, they kind of guided me and told me things that uh, would be interesting to research. So I think it just helped me to become more passion, um, passionful, I guess, for the, uh, the things that I was doing there um, for the program. And I also completed a business minor, um, which was quite uh, beneficial as well. So it was good to get some experience with like different topics like finance, accounting, um, entrepreneurship, things that I didn't really know much about. And it's kind of rounded out my, my skills as a whole. Did you take those as like elective credits during your degree? You just chose um, some different uh, classes because it's cool for students to see how there is some flexibility, right? So you were able to take those. Is that how it worked for you? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember the exact number of courses that I had to take. I believe it was maybe eight to 10, um, but it was just like a wide range of business topics um, and they were all kind of introductory. Um, so it's just really good to get that experience. Yeah, nice. Um, that's great. So now you are living abroad. Um, so cool. How did you end up working in London, England? Tell us about your current job as a data scientist. Yeah. So I'm going to bring it back to LinkedIn. Um, I <laughs> That played a, a crucial role in where I am today. So uh, actually in 2019, when I was uh, starting to interview for internships, I had searched on LinkedIn to see if there was any Brock alumni that was working at Expedia. Um, and I ended up landing an interview there in the Seattle office, but didn't receive the offer. Um, however, I connected with uh, alumni Ramona, who is actually now my current manager. Um, and we stayed connected over the two years or so. And I came across her profile and how she posted that she was hiring for a data scientist here in London. Um, and I reached out to her, just said I was really interested in the role. I'd love to chat about it. Hear some more. Um, so we ended up hopping on a call and then I ended up uh, receiving an interview and then just kind of progressed onwards. Um, and it was kind of funny because we actually both completed the same bachelor's and master's degree, both in math and statistics. And then we um, also completed the same internship with Canadian Tire. So we reported into the same manager. So um, thankfully, he put in a good word for me, which really helped. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of how I got to where I am today. And then a little bit more about the role. So I'm working as a data scientist, like you said, um, in the product analytics and experimentation department. And essentially, we run statistical tests on the website to see how users interact with certain feature changes. Um, the easiest way to understand this is probably through an example. So say, for example, over a two week period, we have about five million visitors in two different groups. We'll show them two different product experiences. So the first one, we may show them four to five stars on a hotel, whereas in the other one, we may show them um, eight out of 10 as a numerical score. And then we run the math models to um, identify how users interacted in each group and make product recommendations going forward to see how we can better the product. Wow, that's so awesome. The connection that you had to get to that position, the job that you're in now, are you enjoying it? Is it um, like living across the world, doing a job that, you know, is right up your alley? Is it um, is it what you wanted? Yeah, for sure. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm really enjoying the team and the social aspects. So working in London has been a lot of fun. Um, yeah. It's quite a social environment here. Um, so a lot of people are always going out, grabbing food together. And uh, we have a really good team. So I really enjoy uh, what I've been doing so far. Was it tough moving to England? Uh, it was a little bit challenging. Yeah, a lot of different changes with um, like kind of that typical admin stuff like that. But I was I was ready to make a move. Um, so I actually applied to a lot of opportunities outside of Canada and uh, just ended up receiving a great opportunity here and decided to make the move. Yeah, that's wonderful. Good for you. Um, but now an even bigger question. Is this your long term career plan? Um, what do you think is up next? Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, I've really been enjoying the way that things are going so far. So I'm thankful for the opportunity that I had to move to London and experience, um, yeah, I guess get international experience as well. So ideally, I would like to continue to just develop my skills and uh, eventually would love to progress a little bit higher, maybe manage a couple people and uh, help them grow their careers and uh, yeah, just work with them. 
Yeah, that's so great. It's cool that um, there's such a big relational aspect to your story. And now you want to work uh, as a leader and have a team. And um, it's so cool at what those connections have done for you. So um, thank you so much for joining us today, Brad, and sharing your experience with us at Brock and um, your career success. Um, it was so nice to hear um, everything that you've been through the past few years. Um, you have a really cool story. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Bye, Brad. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, you can contact us at brocku.ca slash discover slash contact.